Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I'm here to do my July favorites. And they are almost 100% lifestyle, except for one thing. I want to announce the winner of Glitzy Fritzy, Mary's uh, essential eye brush set that she put together with Sigma. I want to announce that winner. And if I have time, I'm going to talk about my refrigerator drama. It was kind of a drama. The first thing I want to mention is that there was news in July that perhaps starting January 1st, 2021, China is going to change their regulations on testing on animals. And if you're not interested in this, I'll put a time here up on the top of the screen where you can go to the next part. But I was thrilled about this. And all I can tell you is what my understanding is. A lot of companies that claim to not test on animals and they don't test on animals but if they sell their products in china that means that they have to be tested on animals china can make cosmetics and they don't have to test on animal but any of the cosmetic products or a lot of other things that are brought into china have to be tested or, you know, spot tested. I don't know how that exactly works, but I want to read one thing that really did excite me. And this is just one paragraph. Cosmetic supervision and administration regulation, the primary regulation that governs the production of cosmetics in China. The developments are a signal of potentially positive changes to animal testing requirements. The relevant provision would allow companies selling imported non-special use cosmetics, such as shampoo, body wash, lipstick, and lotion in China to do so without mandatory animal testing. Currently, Chinese rules require tests on animals for all imported cosmetics. The proposed new measure will bring the regulation of imported non-special use cosmetics in line with the requirements for those that are made. To anyway, it, I am being cautiously optimistic because over five years ago, I chose just to buy cosmetic brands that are cruelty free that aren't sold in China. I, so so if this happens, I might get excited about cosmetics again because there's a whole lot of brands that I loved that I didn't buy. And I just specifically did it for makeup. That, that it was so much to learn that I tried to use cruelty free of, you know, other items. I think the last time I did a favorites, I told you I'd lost 12 pounds. Well, now I've lost 14 pounds and I had a few questions. I've had several questions about my cheeks looking, looking fuller. Uh, I think it's because my face is getting thinner. So it's going to probably drop, but I'm still not going to do. I've never had any type of procedure done and I'm fine with aging. But I think that's why my cheeks look fuller because my other places are getting smaller but I'm still eating moderate low carb is what I'm eating and I feel really good. I have no idea where I heard about everything bagel seasoning blend. I don't think I heard about it on a video. I, I don't know how it got, got into my radar. But when I did my grocery pickup, I put the original everything but the bagel seasoning in and they substituted it with Sam's Choice. This is $1.99. I love it. Jim loves it. It is good on, you can, I'll, I'll put a link, but I don't know if I can link to Walmart, but I'll put a link to anything just so you can see what spices are in there because there's no way I can read from here. But it's just really good. Now, if you have any problems with your colon and can't have little seeds or your doctor's told you, you wouldn't want to do it because I know it has sesame seeds but I really do like it. Something I was absolutely, this, this is probably one of my highlights. I don't do a lot of baking, but I do. I bet we, we both been cooking a lot and I was needing some new measuring spoons. Well, I found these on Amazon and I love them. They are magnetic. I have used the heck out of them. They're dishwasher safe. They're, they're just excellent. And like this is a tablespoon or, or 15 mils and this is the narrow side that you can put into a container and then you have one left for your liquids. So they just stack up really nicely. They even have, and I don't think I'd ever need it, a leveler that goes on top that if you need to level out your 
measure your if it needs to be that precise but I like them so much that I ordered two for Christmas gifts and I'm, I'm safe in saying who it's for one for my son and one for my son-in-law I like to get them like just different kitchen things because they both like to cook but I could not be more happy with anything than I am with these because you, you know when you when you're measuring spoons are all together then you have to wash them all or the take to the, tr the trouble of unhooking that thing and getting out what you want you know I'm a slacker so anyway this was a win 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 for me those of you who have watched me for a while know how important water is and I like ice water and I drink my water out of my fake Yeti cup with the handle that comes off and with a straw and you know how particular I am about not wanting to get bad lip wrinkles if you just take a drink and kind of smile you don't pucker your lips and I've had these stainless steel straws for years well I'm really particular about my eyes I want big eyes I started out with like the two inch ice trays I learned about those from O'Carroll I remember that so I got those and they were kind of a pain to get in and out and then I went to muffin tins and I did that for a while then I bought some of the they were hard to get out to and it took up so much space so I bought some of these that I use to make my cheese crisps they're um, supposedly BPA proof and all that stuff they're supposed to be safe and I did that for a while and then I heard another youtuber talk about freezing a glass so I did that for a while and they started cracking and it wasn't very good and I know you're not supposed to freeze your Yetis but I had one that was given to me it was with advertisement on it and I put it in my freezer and of course the plastic came away but it left me with this and this is perfect to fit down in this glass and in the winter in you know in that when the, in the nice weather this is all I need for all day and I just keep filling it up again it has a little thing on the bottom so I have to so I have to put it in a cup in the freezer well in the summer I need to add some to this because I'm filling it up all the time with water so I've found something that has made me so happy I bought a set of six stain stainless steel cups that are flat on the bottom and I freeze these and I do in various I put like one I'll fill to there one I'll fill to there one I'll fill it to there just have to run it under the water depending on how much ice I need that's why I have different heights of them but it just makes me happy and you know I like stainless steel anything and I feel better about using stainless and I know those green cups weren't free of anything so my cups are a winner well I was talking to Mary glitzy fritzy and she was telling me some bread that was fantastic that was on Octoly and Octoly is a website that if you are a content creator whether it's on YouTube or Instagram I don't know what all but I just know you apply and if you ask for something and the company agrees they'll send it to you well I don't do it very much at all because because there's just not much I'm wanting in lines of makeup you know in that category and kind of what I think is if I wouldn't spend that much money on it I'm, I don't want to I don't want to get it and show it on here I like to show what I would spend money on and I think you guys are going to be really surprised when you hear that I would spend $12 for this and this was given to me through the Octoly website from the company Uprising Bread uprising bread and here is the box right here and it is keto bread comes in a small box like this it says it will make eight to ten slices I think Mary's made 12 slices and I'll show you here how I sliced it I did mine into eights into eight slices and here's one of the slices right here this is how thick it is and what I did this and put it in the freezer because there's absolutely no preservatives but when I'm ready to eat this I will cut this in two and I will have like a little grilled cheese that's just kind of how I like to do my bread and I'll tell you why I would spend $12 for that I don't know how many times I've bought a piece of cheesecake that was this big that, that was this big that was a whole lot more than a dollar and a half 
every ingredient in the bread I am familiar with. I know that it has 11 grams of carbohydrate, but 9 grams are fiber, so it's two net carbs, and it truly is delicious. So since there's no preservatives, you need to refrigerate it or freeze it. And I've, I've had it plain, like a sandwich. I've tried toasting it. I didn't do real well the first time I toasted it, but I'm going to play with it more and make a grilled cheese, and I will get back to you. But it is absolutely delicious. And if you're somebody who watches, watches your carbohydrates, uh, it might be something you want to try. And I really want to thank the company for sending them to this to me. I would not have tried it had Mary not told me how delicious it was. It's not an original acquisition. I did have two fails, and not because these were furry, but I ordered this from Soma. It is a sleep mask, and I tell you, I don't know. I'm going to give it to my great niece. It was so tight on me, and I have just an average size head. It just felt like it was, it was not good at all. So that was a fail. If I, if I ever decide I want a sleep mask, I'm going to order the kind that Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats uses that look like bras that kind of come out and they don't smash your eyes, but that was a fail. I use a MacBook Pro. It's like a laptop and you can't use wireless earbuds with it. You have, it has to be wired because I think I got it in 2015. Well, I had, I had a set that I liked better than the, uh, Apple earbuds and I used them all the time and I stepped on them and I broke them I broke the well I just smashed them so I ordered a pair and these are a fail and these were like a dollar less expensive but they're just not good quality I'm gonna link them below so you can kind of look at them yourself they're not smooth the cord never got smooth and I thought, heck with it, I'm just going to see if I can find those other earbuds. And I could make out what brand it was, and it was Move Acoustics. So I went to Amazon, and I typed that in, and it showed me I had ordered them three years ago. So they still had them, and I ordered them, and they're just the most comfortable to wear. They're so much more pliable. This is flat, and they're so comfortable. So I was really happy to find these. So now I'm going to talk about my appliance drama. I've kind of known, both of my appliances were before Jim. So what that means is it, they were purchased prior to 2006. And I had been having some trouble with my refrigerator. And I knew like in December, I probably needed to get one. Well, I kind of quit thinking about it and talked to Jim about it. And we thought, well, it'll be okay. Well, it, it was, and it didn't quit but we knew we needed a new refrigerator. So this is like my town. So I make the phone calls about appliances and I called our local furniture store and they said, we don't have a refrigerator here. And they usually have a lot of appliances. They said, we sold out of refrigerators and freezers and I don't know when we're gonna have them, get them back. And that, that really kind of surprised me. I think that was in May, I believe. So then we went to the next town over and I called and I wanted to check out, I wanted to get a French door refrigerator. I thought that as we're getting older, I think it's so much easier because you're in and out of your refrigerator a lot more than you are your freezer and not to have to bend down and you know, how to get stuff out of the crisper and things like that. So the appliance store, the next town over, I went in there and I had my mask on, social distanced, and they had nothing in stock, everything you had to order. And I thought, oh my gosh, well, I'll go to Sears. So I went in Sears and the same thing happened. Well, I decided to go online and look at Home Depot just to see what they had because everything had to be ordered anyway. And it just happened to be they were having a sale. But I called over to the Home Depot that's probably 40 minutes from here and said, if I come in and pick out a refrigerator, can it be delivered? And he said, no. I had no idea that you couldn't just go someplace. Maybe you can where you live, but you sure can't. I sure can't around here. If anybody, I called this one place that's open. Anyway, it was just kind of a fiasco. So before we had ordered our refrigerator, my dishwasher went out. 
So I thought, well, I don't really need a dishwasher. I'm not, I, I can just do dishes. Well, that lasted about one week. So anyway, we did order a refrigerator and a dishwasher. I did not care what color it was. My appliances have always have been off-white and I've been very pleased with them. Well, they don't make off-white anymore. So I didn't care if it was white, if it was stainless. I really wanted the fingerprint resistant, but they didn't have any of that. So now I have a stainless steel refrigerator and a stainless steel dishwasher. But I tell you, it was kind of stressful there for a few minutes. And we will know we bought these in 2020. <laughs> so I know it wasn't much, but those were my favorite things during the month of July. I'm looking forward to cooler weather and being able to film in a cool room. It's now Wednesday morning, August 5th, and the giveaway is closed. And we have been having some beautiful weather yesterday and today. So any of you who live in my area will understand what I mean. So it's been a wonderful reprieve from the high temps, the high humidity, and the high dew point. The winner of my giveaway and what I gave away was a set of Mary Glitzy Fritzy, her essential eye set. Ask me if I was wearing a blouse, pajamas in this picture right here, and that is a robe that I got when I was subscribed to FabFitFun. And today I'm going to announce the winner of the giveaway, and the winner is Gina Gal 9 Congratulations, Gina. Make sure you leave a comment below, and uh, I'll tell you how to get in touch with me. But anyway, it is all good. Thank you so much for watching and for leaving a comment. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. I've had it. It'll open up a whole new brand. Fake Yeti Cat. So I love a straw. And I've had and they it won't so my cups were a winner but I'm not as